Hi everybody over there, my name is Luis Rabelo. I'm a concert pianist and I also happen to be a teacher for piano technique at the Conservatory of Rotterdam in the Netherlands. And I decided to launch this series of videos talking about piano technique and fundamentals of piano playing that I'm pretty sure is going to be very helpful for a whole community of pianists and piano lovers in general out there. So I hope you enjoy the content of these videos and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you like. So the first subject that I would like to talk about is scales. And there is a, really a lot of things that can be said and can be discussed about scales, many angles that this, this uh, element can be treated. And I decided to start with one and it has to do with thumb passage. Let's go straight to the point. What you have to pay attention when you're playing scales, as far as the thumb is concerned, is the timing of the passage of the thumb, right? The thumb passage is triggered by the action of the second finger. So your thumb will pass immediately after you play second finger. Don't wait to pass your thumb after third finger or after fourth finger because you will probably be late. So repeating, thumb after second finger, after second. And now let's talk about the way back. Right, With, I was playing, I'm playing here left hand, descendant direction. So if I do ascendant direction, how the hands will behave, right? So what you have to bear in mind is that the thumb attacks vertically and the hand crosses over the thumb horizontally. These two actions will take place simultaneously. So let's see how it works. So the moment the hand crosses over, the next finger has to be positioned immediately on top of the next key. So it means that if I'm playing here, thumb playing G and the next key being the A with the third finger, the action of the thumb is vertical, the hand crosses horizontally, positioning my finger on top of the next key, right? If you're playing very slow, just like I'm playing, the movement is still very fast, so the crossing over is still very fast. So let's see now at the end uh, how it works without stopping, right? So the movement, I would uh, strongly advise uh, the, the pianist to practice these actions very slowly in order to integrate the movement. So if you have the, mo the movements well integrated and correctly performed, it's going to be much easier reach a higher speed, right? So don't focus uh, on speed. In the beginning, focus on the perfection of the actions. That's very important. So my friends, if you have uh, other suggestions about uh, topics that you would like me to discuss about, please write to me here in the commentary and uh, that I, I for sure take in consideration. And uh, well, I hope to see you in the next video.